stay tuned and let's check out this Marvel Legends Deluxe Thor Ragnarok. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember, you can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today, we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends Deluxe Thor Ragnarok, who is, of course, the evil cyborg clone of Thor. So in figure form, it's the, basically a reissue of Marvel's 80th Anniversary Thor, who's a pretty good Thor. And to be honest, even though there are going to be some differences, we don't want too many as they are meant to be clones of each other. The only differences are, of course, those cybernetic enhancements that this figure has, which we do have a unique head and a robotic hand as well. We also have an interchangeable head. Both heads, though, have the glowing red eyes to sort of have that difference on our display. But of course, I'll get into all that in the box. It is a deluxe box, of course, so we get that extra weapon effect, which is basically a lot of hammers spinning around. We've seen this effect before in figure form. I just don't think with Marvel Legends. And uh, we do get a normal Mjolnir and an interchangeable hand as well. So there he is, Ragnarok Thor in the packaging from Civil War, of course. On the side of the box, we get a Thor image. Top, we get a hammer. We spin it around. We get that same Ragnarok image on the back of the box, as well as a right up the reeks. Using a lock of the Myth and Thor's hair, Tony Stark creates a cybernetic doppelganger of the Thunder God called Ragnarok. This would prove disastrous when the cyborg betrayed the mighty Avengers. So of course, I'll get into some of the details, but yes, this debuted in Civil War in the mid 2000s. He went on to join like the Dark Avengers, but yes, this is basically a cyborg clone of Thor. So without further ado, let's get him out. Thou art no Thor, or as they say, this is of course cyborg clone out of the packaging with all of his accessories. Interchangeable head hand, he's holding one of the hammers and then we get multiple hammers on this spinning effect. But I'll show you all of that in a minute. But first, let's just see the straight up comparisons with the 80th anniversary Thor, as that is probably what people are gonna be asking. So, what do you see? You tell me, what are the differences? I noticed straight away the wraps around the boots are a different colour. On the 80th anniversary Thor, they are obviously more yellow compared to the sort of brownish leathery tone on the Ragnarok. And also the belts match the wraps that are on the feet. So the belts match the wraps up there, of course. Other than that, this is the exact same figure, of course, just with different heads and maybe a slight different deco in the blue of the trousers and the red of the cape. Maybe, but only slightly different. Now I have them here in person under the lights. Other than that though, they are exactly the same figure. One is meant to be a cyborg clone. So the only differences are meant to be the cyborg elements, which we see here on the hand and on the head. So other than that, it's the same figure. And if I put them on the rotating base and spin them around, you can see for yourself all the way around, they are the same figure, just with a few different deco changes, and one's a cyborg. Taking a closer look at Ragnarok 4, starting off with this new cyborg head. So you can see it's basically the same Thor head that we previously got, but now some of the skin has been peeled off to the side to sort of reveal his robot cyborg skeleton. And if I move the hair back, and if the light catches it just right, you can see they've actually sculpted some of that cyborg uh, elements all the way to the back of the head. So it's all the way back there behind the hair and that looks really good. Terminator-esque, you can see the teeth going all the way to the back of the jaw with that big red beaming eye. But yeah, I like those cybernetic parts sort of ripped off. And then this side, you can still see the red eye here with a bit of red glaze over it, but definitely battle ready, this guy. So, uh, or been in battle. Uh, but other than that, it's the same Thor head, same helmet, same hair that goes across the back there. And uh, yeah, it's nicely done. So from there, you can't tell. And then you spin around to that side and it's definitely Cyborg Thor. But we do get options. We get a Thor head without any of the Cyborg uh, skeleton showing. This time it's just a normal Thor head, but with the eyes painted red to sort of show you he's still a Cyborg under there. But yeah, this time the skin hasn't been ripped off and it's just a normal Thor head with the red eyes. Same Thor sculpt as the previous figure. If I bring in a side by side, you can see they are exactly the same. It's just one of them, you can see Thor's blue eyes and the other one 
obviously is a cyborg. But other than that, they're clones. So I don't mind that they're exactly the same. And if I bring in the other cyborg head, you can see your two options now for your Ragnarok Thor. You can either get all the skin on the face with the red eyes or with some of the skin ripped off, revealing that skeleton, which I quite like. So I like that look. While I was doing some comparisons and swapping the heads, I noticed another difference. The wings on the Ragnarok Thor helmet are actually different to the regular Thor. You notice here you've got like a upper and lower section of the wings and they're like a pearl colour. Compared to the regular Thor, you can see we've got only an upper part of the wings and they're more of a bright white compared to the sort of pearl colour of the Ragnarok Thor. So different sculpt on the wings attached to the helmet between the two Thors. A small difference, but noticeable. Going back now to check out the rest of the figure, you can see it is the exact same of the 80th anniversary Thor with the same sculpted discs on the front. You get all six down here. You get a T on the belt for Thor, of course, moving down to the trousers, which are the blue. And then you've got the new color of wraps around the boots, but the wraps is the same sculpt, just a different deco. And again, on the back here, you can see there's not a lot of shading on the sculpted uh, sort of cape compared to the shading on the previous Thor. So again, the differences are all in the deco. And of course, the hand, because we have a cybernetic hand for Ragnarok Thor. It sort of looks like something you'd get from the Reavers, as it is nicely done. But of course, that's if you want to sort of display him as the cyborg that he is. It is just one interchangeable hand with the cyborg effect. The other hand is just a gripping hand, so we can hold on to Milnir, but I'll show you that in a second. But I do want to show you he comes with an interchangeable hand. So now you can see he has a non-cyborg hand for your Thor Ragnarok. So you have a few options there. He wouldn't be a clone of Thor if he didn't have his own hammer. And he actually comes with the exact same hammer that came with the 80th anniversary Thor that has the writing on the side. This time around, I can read it a little bit better. Maybe they've not put as much dark wash on there. But it reads, whoever holds this hammer, be he worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. So of course, this is the same hammer, same pins on the figure, of course, but still, it's still a very nice Thor. So now we have our Ragnarok Thor with a hammer, uh, which is a nice touch. But what if we wanted to spin that hammer around? Well, thankfully, we now have the opportunity as we have a spinning hammer. This hammer is basically how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hammers all sort of stuck together and it's on this bit and you can literally spin it like it spins. So there you go. Maybe I can get that to look better on camera um, with Thor holding it, but it literally is meant to resemble Thor spinning the hammer around. So there you go. I'm literally just holding the middle and giving it a spin like we're on Wheel of Fortune. There you go. Spinning hammer. Looks good. If you get Thor posed up just right, he does look really good holding the hammer for display, but the figure itself is quite back heavy, so it requires a little bit of balance because the accessory piece is obviously a lot heavier than your average accessory. And also I don't feel like the grip in the hand is tight enough. So depending on how you sort of balance the hammers, depends if it's gonna fall out of the hand or not. But there he is standing there. And as I said, if I start spinning it, it does work. Uh, it's just a little bit more awkward because the grip isn't as tight as I would like it. But that is what you want. As I said, you've got to hold Thor, otherwise he will fall. But uh, look, let me show you. Let me show you a closer look. Here's the one hand we get to grip. Obviously, here's the hammer with the handle. And if I put it in there, you can see it's like not as tight as I would like. Do you see how it's sort of like falling out of the grip there? So like, and obviously the hammers are quite big, so you can't get it tight. It just, I just don't, I just wish it was a tighter grip because it's already awkward to balance. But he will hold it, obviously. It's just the grip isn't as tight as I would like. Uh, but it, there you go. It does sit in there, sort of. But then, obviously, it's limited. But uh, it works. It does do the job, obviously. Zoom him out. There you go. He looks good. No doubt about it at all. I just wish it was a tighter grip, that's all. And you can see the hammer is basically the same hammer here, just eight times over all the way around. And on the inside, it actually still has the writing as well. And you can read the writing, it's eligible on them all. And it's got like a translucent blue plastic in the middle to sort of demonstrate the twirls. So hopefully that comes across well 
under these white lights. But I promise you, the, the shield, the field shield, the hammer effect is pretty good. Hey, it's sort of like a shield, isn't it? It's like a hammer shield. Um, but I just, again, it seems to be okay there. Look, he's holding it all right there. So uh, yeah, maybe I'm just being nitpicky, but I, I do wish it was a little bit tight, but that's all. But it works. And just to show you the handle one more time, you can see how there it spins in the middle. So if you can see me twisting it, that is what spins. So if you get him gripping that, you spin it, happy days. Let's swing straight into comparisons. I'm not going to go through articulation as this Ragnarok Thor is the exact same of the 80th Anniversary 4. So go and check out my review for the 80th Anniversary 4 to see all of those details. But just once again, side by side, the differences are deco from the wraps. There's no gold on the buckles of the shoes. The wings on the helmets are different. And then maybe the capes are a slightly different tone of red. The belts obviously a different colour matching the boots, etc. And of course, this one's a cyborg. Thou art not Thor. Here we have another Marvel Legend of Thor. This one's old school. I think it first appeared at San Diego Comic-Con and then re-released in the Disney Store Avengers 5-pack. He's pretty tall, but still holds up pretty well. Here we have Odin Thun Thor. This is the non-exclusive version, so he's without the metal arm. Here we have Jane Foster Thor, who we're going to see a lot more of, I think, in the upcoming future. But uh, in figure form, still looks good. And we can't look at Thor without comparing him to Loki. I haven't opened my grey carded Hercules yet, but here we have the modern Hercules compared to Ragnarok. And these two definitely battled during Civil War. Now, if you know Civil War, then you know Tony Stark, Reed Richards and Hank Pym all helped create Ragnarok Thor. However, Hank Pym turned out to be a scroll. So here we have a scroll. This gets a little confusing because I've got the 80th anniversary golden red Iron Man, but I've got the 20th anniversary unmasked Tony Stark head. This is the 20th anniversary Iron Man. This is the 20th anniversary Captain America. And this is the 20th anniversary Hulk. Here we have Frogman and Tigra. And last but definitely not least, here we have Ragnarok Thor compared to Captain Britain. And Hal, Fire, Hank. So final thoughts on Ragnarok Thor. This is one of those occasions where you can't really be mad at Hasbro for giving us a reissue of a figure we already have, as he is technically a different character within the comics who happens to be a clone. So of course he needs to be exactly the same with a few unique parts thrown in there so you can have those differences on the shelf. I do like the alternative robot hand, which I swear we've had with a Reaver before. And of course the head with the skin ripped off, revealing that robot, that cyborg exoskeleton underneath. Uh, so again, he is a big player within the Civil War storyline. So if you're a fan of Civil War, I'm sure you're gonna wanna get this guy. He does sort of join Norman Osborn's Dark Avengers later on on in the comics but boy then he looks a little bit different so this iteration is definitely meant to represent the civil war the sort of first appearance of Ragnarok Thor however you could still put him in a Dark Avengers why not it's your display so you let me know in the comments below do you like this figure where is he gonna go in your collection do you like the display piece I do like the unique display piece with the spin of an ability and it does look a little bit different on the shelf and I like accessories that bring the shelf to life a little bit so I like seeing it I like new things why not? Let me know what you think in the comments below. All that good stuff. But please, please, please go and check out the videos tab. Find the playlists and hit that subscribe button. Much, much appreciate. You can also hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. You can follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And I'm on Twitter as well at Dan Who Reviews. Tweet me uh, because, yeah, this fall is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think I wanted him. But as always, I get these figures in hand, start displaying them, posing them up. And I'm like, okay, I need this for the collection. So uh, yeah, and I like the display piece as well. You let me know what you think. And as always, my name is Dan W. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.